congratulations on your purchase of the Pister Modding 389, and welcome to the Pister Modding family. This video is going to walk you through step by step on what you need to do prior to starting the game. I'm going to say that again for those in the back that are not paying attention. This is going to walk you through step by step of what you need to do prior to starting the game. Because if you don't do this, your game is going to crash and you're going to get pissed and then you're going to be looking for answers. And if you end up in the Pizder Mounting Discord asking the questions, they're probably going to link you this video. This stuff may seem intimidating, but I promise you, if my dumbass can do it, you can as well. Super simple. In the description of this video that you're watching, you're going to see this line down there along with this, okay? You're gonna copy this line from the description, just as it is, okay? Then you're gonna come over to Steam. You're gonna right click on American Truck Simulator and go to Properties. Right down here, you're probably not gonna have anything. If you do, just overwrite it. Just paste what you just copied, okay? That's step one of that. Step two is come back to this. How much RAM do you have? If you don't know how much RAM you have, you can hit Control Alt Delete and bring up your task manager and go over to the memory tab. It will tell you. You can also go into the control panel, system and security, View amount of RAM and processor speed. If you don't have the little icon right there, just go in here and type control panel or type task manager. For example, if I typed in task manager, see how that comes up? Click on performance, memory. Tells you right there, I've got 64 gig. So that means I would have to come in here, 49152. See those X's? So now you go back to Steam, to your properties, and at the end, take out the X's and type in 4952, if you have 64 gigs of RAM. If you don't, type in whatever number's right there, and that's it for Steam. The second part is, you're gonna click on your file manager, you're gonna go to Documents, American Truck Simulator, config.cfg you're going to double click that and open it i'm using notepad plus plus if you're using notepad doesn't matter it'll come up you're going to hit control f and then you're going to type in buffer and then you're going to hit find next buffer page size 10 change that to 30 come up here hit save you're done that's all you have to do if you don't do that your game is going to crash. The other thing you need to do, general load order, top to bottom of your load order, maps on the bottom, then trucks, trailers, skins, AI mods, traffic, tuning parts, physics. This is the other area that could cause crashes. So if you have everything in the first two steps done properly and your game is still crashing, double check your load order. Now that we have that done, let me go back to the main page here because there's some things that are here that you may not know about. So when you log in and you click this, it's gonna bring you to a page that has a bunch of your personal information on it, as well as your purchases, okay? Up here on that page, there's gonna be a black box, black rectangle that says, my downloads. When you click that, that's gonna take you to this page here. Yours will probably look different. You may just have something that says private Facebook access group, which is all you need for this. Click access now. Again, your list may look different, but this is where you get the Alcoa level one wheel, the Matt BT 389 owner's yard, the logging trailer, the Pizder modding yard by recon and the Z mods engine def. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Your truck should run fine. Your game should run fine. If there are any issues whatsoever, Pistromotting Discord, 
Super helpful, folks. And one more thing I want to cover that I just thought about. If you do have any issues and you end up asking questions in the Discord, 10 times out of 10, somebody's going to say, send me your game log. Don't be alarmed. It's not hard. Again, go into Documents, American Truck Simulator, game.log.txt. That's what they're looking for. Those type of people can open that up, read it, and then pinpoint why your game is crashing nine times out of ten. So again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I hope you found that helpful. Again, if there are any issues, Pizder Modding Discord, link in the description, and happy trucking.